All right, this is a replication of the popcorn ball experiment that Dr. Stifler asked uh, any of us that could to replicate. And I'm far enough along here that I made a stab at it, and I got some pretty good results. My popcorn ball isn't, isn't very nice, but uh, it does the job. It's supposed to be one of those Jiffy Pop uh, popcorn balls, but this, this serves the purpose. Uh, the system's running right now. There's the amp draw. It's uh, less than half an amp. It's probably 100 to 200 milliamps on this setup. I did bump it to 14.5 volts for this uh, experiment. It's a 12-volt uh, battery hooked up in series with about 2.5 volts there. And uh, the uh, coil here on L3, I doubled the windings to uh, 100 windings there to help out a little bit. And let me start this off. I'll show that the, um, the uh, popcorn ball is working here. And uh, that's, um, this is pretty neat. You can walk around with these lights up to quite a bit of a distance. And uh, this broadcast RF, I've decided this is an RF broadcasting deal. And I actually got my first RF burn today. It felt like a hot needle. It's a really interesting thing. And it affects the television. So anyway, it's something we'll have to be careful about. But you can uh, light up multiple bulbs on this thing and um, run, uh, run the thing with multiple bulbs. This is the little 110 volt bulb that uh, Dr. Stifler wanted us to take a look at and see if it glowed on the uh, ball. And I'll show you that it does here if I can get this in the dark enough. You see there it's glowing red. Take it off again. And he wanted to see if anybody else could replicate this, and, and I did. So, And this was the other uh, neat find uh, today. I took a great big uh, bulb here. It's a big old Sylvania cool light bulb, um, 20 watt. And uh, if you get this on here and get it going, you can lay this down, and uh, it stays on. And uh, that's, uh, that's got no wires on it, folks. That's completely wireless. That's a wireless thing. There's nothing on this at all. And uh, like I say, if you hold this anywhere near the rig, it just stays on. It stays on pretty darn bright. And uh, that's running on, like I say, about 14, 14 and a half volts at uh, about a quarter of an amp on something like that. I haven't got this to go full bright yet. I'm not sure what you have to do with the voltage to get it to do that, but I think it's a voltage situation more than anything else. It's not an amp draw. It's a voltage. But, you know, once that's on, it just stays on like that. And you can go ahead and light off another bulb here and get another bulb going off that popcorn ball and uh, just line them up. And it doesn't do anything to the amp draw. They just keep right on going. So... I thought this was very, very interesting. There's my amp draw with the three bulbs going. And um, very interesting stuff. Anyway, this was the popcorn ball experiment. I did get the gate to work today. And uh, the gate works exactly like Dr. Stifler uh, described it. This was the gate here. And um, um, it does work exactly like he described it. So if anybody's building one of these gates, just do it the way he said, and it works great. And I would have showed it in the video, but I didn't want to make a real, real long video. But I did want to show this. And when I had the gate running, um, you could walk around with this as long as it was anywhere near the, uh, the system. And even with a wire, if there was a wire anywhere near this, you could uh, keep this excited. But once it stops, let me show you that. I'll take it away here. Once it stops, it doesn't come back on. You have to go ahead and start it up again. And you start it up, and then once it's started, it stays lit. If it's anywhere near this uh, SEC exciter. So anyway, this was a replication of the popcorn ball experiment that uh, Dr. Stifler requested.